Today I'm talking about a small town east of Vancouver, Washington. It's just down the Columbia River Gorge. It's called Stevenson. Stevenson is nestled along the banks of the beautiful Columbia River Gorge. It's incredible out there. It's across the river from Cascade Locks in Oregon. It's about a 50 minute drive from Vancouver. To get there, you just head down Highway 14 East. The Columbia River Gorge is a national scenic area, probably one of the most beautiful places on earth. Thank you for watching. I make a new video every week on life and real estate here in Southwest Washington. I was raised in Camas. I have spent most of my life in Clark County and I honestly, I love helping people learn about this beautiful area. Love helping people move here and make it their home. If you like my videos, just take a quick moment to subscribe and turn the bell on for notifications. If you want to talk about what it's like to live in Southwest Washington, or if you want to talk about buying a home, give me a call, shoot me a text, email me, whatever works for you works for me. My contact info is in the description down below. All right, Stevenson, Washington. It's pretty small. There's only about 1600 people who live in Stevenson. So it is just an itty bitty little area. What draws people to Stevenson? Why are people living there? It's a little bit off the beaten path. So it's worth asking what draws people to live in this area. And here's just a couple of reasons. First of all, the natural beauty. Like I mentioned before, it's located in the Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area, which is known for stunning landscapes, waterfalls, outdoor recreation galore. It's safe to say that people drawn to Stevenson are outdoorsy. They appreciate the natural environment. People who are into nature, hiking, fishing, biking, kayaking, and windsurfing are also drawn to Stevenson. This town is only a little over an hour away from Mount Hood, so it's also pretty convenient to access skiing, snowshoeing, snowboarding, cross-country skiing, etc. Another reason people move to Stevenson is for the small town charm. As this town has a slower pace and a close-knit community, Stevenson has so much to offer for people who love the outdoors. And at the same time, it's just, it's not too far away from civilization. It's less than an hour to Portland airport. So while it feels remote when you're out there, it really isn't that far away. Stevenson is also a popular place to buy a second home as a getaway and escape from city life. Stevenson's early history is tied to the exploration of the Pacific Northwest. In the mid 1800s, settlers began to arrive in the region. In 1852, a trading post was established near present day Stevenson. The town was named after James Stevenson, who was a prominent figure in the construction of a railroad line that connected the Columbia River to the Eastern United States. The construction of the Spokane, Portland and Seattle Railway in the early 1900s played a big role in Stevenson's growth as it provided a means for transporting timber and other natural resources from the area. Logging and timber industry were central to Stevenson's development and their economy. Stevenson was officially incorporated in 1907. It continued to thrive as a hub for logging and timber related industries through the early 20th century. Over the years, tourism has become another important industry to this small town. Stevenson's proximity to the Columbia River Gorge and the natural beauty of the area attracts people who love the outdoors, sightseers, hikers, bird watchers, pretty much anyone wanting to escape from the city. Attractions in Stevenson include the Skamania Lodge. That's a big one. People love this beautiful hotel, golf course, and spa. They also have a famous zipline course. There are also a variety of breweries and tap houses in Stevenson to check out. It's home to wineries, hard cider rooms, and distilleries. There's a few tasting tours you can do, which would be a fun way to explore a new area, and I've linked those down below in the description. There are some awesome events throughout the year in Stevenson that attract visitors and should be on your radar if you just want to go explore this small town and see what it's like. There is the Gorge Blues and Brews event in June. Uh, they also have a huge 4th of July celebration with fireworks at the Sweeney County Fairgrounds, and later in July there is Gorge Grass. Another fun music festival happens at Stevenson Waterfront in early August. And then back at the fairgrounds is the Skamini County Fair in August every year. Last but not least, you can check out Christmas in the Gorge in early December. Hiking brings in lots of people to this area as it's nestled in the heart of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. A few popular trails are Dog Mountain, Beacon Rock, and Fall Creek. Fishing is another common attraction. Fisher people launch their boats along the river and spend their days either fishing on their own or with a guided tour. The Stevenson Downtown Association has lots to offer as well, including a waterfront farmer's market that occurs June through October. You can check out their website for more info on the local events and businesses. And yes, I did include a link to that down below. Schools in Stevenson. Kids in Stevenson go to Stevenson Carson School District Schools, which includes Stevenson Elementary, Wind River Middle School, and Stevenson High School. The district had 845 students enrolled last year. If you want to learn more about their schools and test scores, you can check out their school report card on OSBS website. And I'm going to link above the video on how to do that in case you don't, don't remember. Real estate. The average sales price for sold homes in the last year has been $583,000 and the median price is $574,000. The market is not super competitive out there because rural living is just not everyone's cup of tea. Homes tend to go pending in about a month 
and sell for around list price. If you are looking for a 2,000 square foot four bedroom home, expect to see home prices in the six and 700,000 range. If you would like to see homes for sale in Stevenson, use the link in my description below to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video. I'm doing new videos every week on life and real estate here in Southwest Washington. This was a quick little video, just quick review, overcap of Stevenson, Washington. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Happy to answer. And I hope you have a great day. See you next week.